Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm showing you my boarding house. But just before we get started, I'm going to explain again what I'm wearing. Now, during summer terms here at Osh, you often get the option to wear what's called summer dress when the weather's appropriate. Now, in essence, summer dress basically means you wear school uniform as per usual, minus jacket and tie, and you roll your sleeves up. Or if you've got a short sleeve shirt like I have, then just wear that. So yeah, but otherwise, it's just basically school uniform, just minus bits here and there. Now with that done, let's continue. Now coming out of my room, we have what's called the sixth form stairs here, or what used to be called the sixth form stairs anyway. It's now just another set of stairs. And coming out here, next to the sixth form stairs, you have the year eight and nine corridor, which on this side, shared rooms, single rooms. There you go. Now here I've got an example of a single room. It's currently one of the spare rooms in the boarding house. So you can see bed, just like my room, uh, a desk, uh, some storage, drawers, and a locker. Now coming out of the year 8 and 9 corridor, we have what we call the games room. As you can kind of tell, you play games. For example, there's a table tennis table here. And uh, as well as playing games, you can just sit around here, hang out with people, etc. It's one of those communal areas. And now looking from a different angle, down there you will find a year 9 corridor, well what used to be year 10. Coming out of the games room, we are now on top of another set of stairs, and um, right next to me here, there's a rather special room in this house. Now, this room is a lot different to every other room in the house because it's one of those ensuite rooms. Now, this room is for head of house, which I am not. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll show you that. It's currently being painted, so it might look a bit unfinished. But uh, yeah, I'll show you that. Going inside, you can see it has its own corridor. Wow, lucky guy. Whoever gets this room is a lucky person. See, his own bathroom, his own corridor, and um, here's a room. It's a bit unfinished, it's being painted at the moment. Uh, but yeah, bed, nice comfy chair. Oh, you need to replace that one, I think. Uh, there you go. Now these are the uh, other set of stairs that I was telling you about, that I was at the top of. Uh, now these are the set of stairs that, well, everyone else in the house uses because considering the front door is right there, literally across that wall. Uh, whereas my set of stairs, or what used to be six form stairs, is way across the other side of the house. Uh, so yeah, in short, everyone else uses these stairs. And uh, well, I think it's, it's quite a nice design for, uh, for a house that was built in 1982. Now coming out here, behind me is that front door I was telling you about, and uh, here is what we call the foyer area, where we have sofas and some nice chairs where you can just sit, chill, have a chat, etc. Coming out of the foyer, uh, down there, there is another corridor, which will lead to a back door, and this will lead to a uh, year 10 corridor, what used to be the year 11 corridor. To my right here, we have our IT room, computers, yeah, I don't need to insult your intelligence, do I? And if you need anything, help, you need the staff, here we have the tutor's office. And uh, right next to the tutor's office, we have a kitchen. Toast, tea, coffee, etc. You know, you, you know what a kitchen is, come on. I don't need to insult your intelligence. Oh, almost forgot to mention, uh, next to the office we also have uh, Matron's Laundry, which, do I have to tell you what a laundry is? Like, seriously? Down here at the other end of the corridor, in front of me, there's what we call the TV room, which will then lead us back to the sixth form stairs and back where we started. Now coming back through here then, we are now in the TV room. As you can see, there are quite a few nice and comfortable sofas for you to sit on. Now this room is used for, well, all kinds of things really, from sitting, chilling out, 
and uh, doing some revision to of course its purpose which is sitting in one of these nice comfortable sofas watching the telly. Uh, it doesn't just have to be telly, it can be films or you can plug an Xbox in and play a few games. It's, it's a very comfortable environment to be in. And uh, of course another great use of these sofas is uh, because sometimes we have these mini house assemblies in here so these sofas make for a very, very comfortable assembly. Uh, so yeah, who knows, even sitting in an assembly can be this comfortable. And now we've come to the end of the video because we're back where we started. I hope you found this video useful or entertaining and if you did, drop a like and maybe subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video where I will show you my school.